Hello everyone. In the second week, we're going to have um, the activities. You can open this course schedule, Math 105 course schedule. So lesson two, you need to one lesson two. And lesson activity, survey of office hours. You will just go to activity service. It's virtual office hours here, one minute. You can finish that. Uh, pre-test posting lesson two. So you would go to quizzes and pre-test a lesson two assignment. Just click it in. You can finish that. Okay, you should not be a big problem for you to finish these questions. Okay, all right. So uh, next one is discussion comment. First discussion, second discussion, and let's think a quiz. Okay, let's uh. Let's think quiz is also here. It goes to the quiz, and it's right here. Let's let's think a quiz. You have one problem here. Seven plus one equals eight plus seven plus two equals eight plus one equals nine. Okay, so it would be simple as well. So I would expect you finish this, uh, finish the course schedule here. All of this one, two, three, four, five. This five in like uh, forty minutes. Okay, well. This part takes a little bit more time, but the rest of the three just uh, finish them as quick as possible. Okay, the discussion, as I said, you don't have to spend that like uh, one hour. You don't spend a long time on the discussions. Okay, just simplify. Simply say, okay, math in the news. Second one, say something. That's it. You don't have to spend uh, one hour writing an essay here. This is a math. This is a math class, not an English class. Okay, you can reply a discussion as long as I when I see your discussion, I read it. Okay, it's math is uh, that will give you grades. All right. So the most important thing for you to do is go to my labs plus and work on your lesson two homework. I uh, I worked on most of the problems. I don't see any big problem. I work on the first nine. It's just it's uh, should be okay with most of you okay so what you can do um, 2 over 5 to power 3 so basically is 2 cube which is 8 divided by 5 cube 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 okay next question 4 times 2 minus 8 plus 4 minus 4 minus 6 minus 7 so I cannot write it here but I can tell you how to work it so 4 times uh, 2 minus 8 you can work on 2 minus 8 first which give you negative 6 4 times negative 6 is negative 24 plus 4 negative 24 this give you negative 24 plus 4 which is negative 20 I can save that number which is the first number I saved it so the second number 4 minus 6 minus 7 so 6 minus 7 give you negative 1 4 minus negative 1 is 5. So second number is 5. Now I read the first number is negative 20 minus 5, which is negative uh, 25. Okay. So number 3, you work the divisions first. So negative 72 divided by negative 18, which is positive 4, plus 19 divided by 18, 90 divided by 18, which is 5. 4 plus 5 which is 9 these are just numbers okay you should not have a big problem with this 44 percent 44 percent is 44 divided by 100 is 0.44 times n n is the number right 0.44 multiplying by some number which is n so the answer is 0.44 multiplied by n that's it next question 5c divided by 2b, 5c is 5 times 6 is 30, divided by 2, which is what, 15, yes, 15 then multiplying by b, b is 2, so 15 times 2, the answer should be 30. Next question, 5 over 9 is a denominator of 36x, so 36x the original fraction does not have x so we need to put an x in the top to cancel the x and this is 9 to 36 from 9 to 36 I multiply 9 by 4 so I have to multiply the same number on the top 5 multiplied by 4 which is 20 I don't have x here the x will be cancelled out 
So it's 5 over 9, you have x, you have x on the top as well. Okay. Question 17, m, n, you have a common factor which is m, factored out, m plus 1, okay. Factor m out, m, n divided by m is n, m divided by m is 1, so m times m, pl m plus 1. Uh, 16u plus 12u, 28u, plus 6v plus 3v, which is 9v. Okay, 8 minus 5 minus 4 minus 7d. You open the parenthesis, reverse the sign. 8d minus minus 7d, which is 8d plus 7d, which is 15d. Minus f 5 minus, open the parenthesis, minus 4. So minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9. Okay, this one take a little bit more work. So 3, 3 times m minus 4, which is 3m minus 12. 3m minus 12 plus 15, which is 3m minus 12 plus 15 is 3m plus 5. That's 3m plus 5. That's whatever this have inside here. The minus, I'm working on this one. 3 times 5n is 15n minus 5 minus 9 plus 5. So you minus 15n minus 9. So plus 9 minus 5. So minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. So it's plus 4. Okay? I have a 4 outside of that. Now I continue to simplify that. So this gives you 3m minus 9 plus 17, 12 plus 17, 3m plus 5, minus 15m, negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4, negative, negative is positive, so I've simplified 3 minus 15, you give you negative 12. Plus 4 plus 5, which is plus 9. And then I multiply it out, it's negative 48 plus 36. I don't have the 4 anymore. You work step by step, work on the parentheses first, then the brackets, two brackets, first the two parentheses, then two brackets, then multiply everything by 4. So solve this one. Uh, isolate x, subtract both sides by 5x, minus two, both sides by 11, so it's a negative 14 equals 7x, x equals negative 2. So you isolate x. This is to solve a linear. First linear equation should not be a big problem for you. Isolate x. The same thing for this one. You multiply out. Or 7 times negative 7. You multiply out. Multiply out from inside to outside. And then isolate x. Okay. I have to work this one a little bit more time because this has a big number. So, let me see. I hope I can work it out from the calculator. Uh, 7 times 3, 4 minus negative 21x. So it's 4 plus 21x. 21x plus uh, 21x. I need to write down a little bit. Okay, so 4 minus minus plus 21x plus 63. So 4 plus 63 is 67 plus 21x. The multiply by 9 equals 189x plus 603. And then 9 times 67, 603 plus, okay, 1, 1, 89x equals that. So you have infinitely many solutions. All real numbers. If you need help on this one, if you need help on this one, just click uh, help me solve this or view example, video, textbook. You have many resources here. Assigned media. You can work, look at this as well. Save best. And then next, uh, number 13. You plot into your rule, determine the size of a child mad Madison dosage is given by C equals A, D of A plus 12, where A is child H and D is the usual the 
adult dosage. I'll now just plug in. Usual medication is 280 and find out for a two year old child. So A is A is two times D. So basically two times two eighty divided by so two times two eighty divided by uh, eight plus twelve eight is two is fourteen. So basically your answer is going to be 2 times 280 equals divided by 14 equals 40. So the answer is going to be 40. Okay, that's how, we, okay, they have next one. Solve that for D, so C A plus 12 C, C times A plus 12 divided by A is this one. Okay, so you isolate, basically isolate it, okay. So do we have any other questions? Oh. You have active learning, graphing and inequalities. And they start x bigger than seven. So okay, next. I think you have to watch this video x less than negative one. This is how you impress how you express x next less than this negative side. Uh, and the parenthesis means not include. Brackets means include. Okay. And this is what is bigger than because it's, uh, it's on the other side. It's bigger than and next one. And uh, since this is less than, you have brackets. You have equal. I think that's it. And uh, let me see what it gives you. Oh, it gives you 100 right now. All right. Thank you very much. That's for the second week's homework and uh, quizzes and the test. If you have any question, do not hesitate to don't hesitate. Sorry, please feel free to contact me. All right, and uh, so far everyone is doing pretty good job, and I will greet all your work, and uh, you should be able to see your grades from here. A lot of grades, I, 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 and some of the grades because you keep adding the discussions. I will I have not updated yet, so most of your grades I will uh, updating like uh, once weekly, every week I update your grades. You know what you make, okay?